So guys, I'm I'm getting a haircut here. Just hey, 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 hey! Slow down there. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, old granny. I, I finally got my hair cut done. Oh boy, I'm in so big trouble. Now. I'm in so much trouble. Oh my god, look at this dude's head. You know, after making an hour-long documentary on this guy and watching him stick a whole bunch of things up his ass, you'd think nothing would phase me anymore when it came to Daniel Larson. But when this image popped up in my Discord the other day, I... I lost my shit. This is... This has been the funniest incident in the Daniel Larson story so far. Hey, old granny. I finally got my hair cut done. Happy Halloween, everyone. Today, we're gonna talk about the Daniel Larson haircut incident that just happened recently. So a handful of days ago, a couple of trolls approached Daniel and offered to give him a haircut. And I'm not sure if Daniel knew these guys or what, because he called one of them his assistant, so you know how this is gonna go. The haircut started out with scissors. So guys, I'm, I'm getting a haircut here. Just, hey, 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 slow down there. <laughs> and eventually they pulled out a razor, I don't know why, and uh, these were the results. <laughs> hey, old granny. I, I finally got my hair cut done. God, it's such a sick ass reverse mohawk. And Daniel would go on to explain his inspiration behind this iconic haircut. So, my inspiration behind this haircut I wanted it to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger got struck by lightning, just like Albert Einstein. Yeah, that's right. Do you guys see the resemblance? If you were to put Albert Einstein and Arnold Schwarzenegger's heads together, this is exactly what you would get. Daniel is laughing and all smiles until the trolls walk off before finishing the haircut. Uh-oh. Where did they go? They said they'll come back. They said they were coming back. This guy's blissful ignorance is so insane sometimes. They said they'll come back. Also, that concerned tone he has is so funny to me. It's like he actually realized that he made a mistake. Daniel would eventually meet back up with the trolls and they would tell him they couldn't finish the haircut because their car got broken into. Right, so... Okay, so your car... Okay, so your yes. car got broken into yes. by somebody yeah, that's cool. when you were going to get your... The blow dryer, yes. The blow dryer, okay. And for once, Daniel actually used his brain and asked to see the car, but then the trolls just changed their story and say the car got stolen altogether. So yeah, I need to see this for myself. Yeah. We have to get in there. So the window, the window's cool. broken? Yes, the window is broken. Alrighty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. It's right here. Go. They, they took it. They took it. And you know, for two guys that just got their car stolen, they're awfully calm about this whole situation. Ultimately, they wouldn't finish Daniel's haircut. It's not so funny anymore for Daniel. Oh boy, I'm in so big trouble. F***ing hell. I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> this guy's life is just one massive series of Ups. Holy hell, what a disaster this guy's life is. Look at this guy, man. <laughs> Look at him. How how do you ever get to this point? Alrighty, so I'm back in um, Boulder, Colorado for court tomorrow, for county court. I'm gonna try to have a, a bite of my macaroni and cheese I got. <laughs> Why is it cold? Why is it cold? Buddy, half of your head is bald and you're going to court tomorrow looking like this. Your cold macaroni is the least of your worries. That's right, I don't know if you guys heard that, but this guy has to walk into court looking like this tomorrow. He would even post a video inside the courtroom confirming if he has a court date or not. I have, I am just trying to check on 
see if I have a court date. Oh, okay. What is your last name? It's a uh, Larson, L-A-R-S-O-N. And then it's Dan. What are the charges you have? I, so I was just down at the city and they said that I did have one that showed up for this Thursday. That's in two days. And then they told me to come down here and check and see if I had anything down here. Imagine the poor woman trying to look up this information and being totally serious while she has this just standing in front of her. I commend this woman's professionalism, my god. The judge is gonna take one look at this guy and dismiss his case due to insanity, like, immediately. This is gonna be the quickest trial ever. Daniel has posted a lot since the haircut first took place. A bunch of it is just him walking around or talking about his Spotify playlist. Please check out Daniel Larson on Spotify. But there was some cool updates that came out of this, like he's releasing a new song in December. Hey everyone, I am in the process of writing a new song called Bang Bang. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, stay tuned for my new song, Memories, that is coming out December 2023. Can't wait for that song to drop, let me tell you what, I'm still bumping fake news and roaring thunder. All these fake record labels trying to reach out to me. One thing they don't know is they call me Big D. He would also say his three songs were making him so much money that he's been kicked off his benefits. Because my first three songs are making so much money and income, I have been kicked off Social Security and Medicaid, and I now owe $25,000 in medical bills. <laughs> Look at this dude's head. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot take him serious. Also, if he was making that much money, why didn't he go to a barbershop and fix this yet, dude? Come on. <laughs> Here's my favorite post from Daniel out of all the ones he's posted so far. And no, I didn't edit the background sound in there. Daniel put that in himself. My god, this has been my favorite moment in Larson history yet. It really is a shame that this happened a few days after I dropped my documentary on him. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Before I end this video, I would like to shout out my first channel member, Jade is Dead. You are the first certified nobody in this community. Thank you so much for your support. You're helping me get one step closer to quitting my day job and doing YouTube full time. I started memberships a few days ago and for $5 a month, you'll get to see my new videos a day early and at the end of every video, I'll shout you out. With that being said, I'm Nick Nobody, and until next week, I'm out.